beautiful Sunday in Utah. It's a fine spring day, I must say. Decided to go do a little bit of fly fishing. It has been a minute since I've been out here. First place I went to was real windy, not so hot. So second stop here, seeing some fish, kind of nosing up and feeding out here. It tells me there's some sort of bug that is trying to or is hatching. I've got the GoPro on the chesty here. Got the fly rod in hand. See if I can catch a couple of fish on this beautiful day. Take you along with me. We'll see how we do. I did not take long in the new spot. Second cast. Oh, this guy nosing up. Beating on a little dry fly action here. It's been a while since I've caught a trout. Man, it's kind of messed up. Today has been a little bit windy. This is my second location that I've been to. First one was too windy. So this one's a little more secluded. These fish are just eating these little tiny dry flies. You can see there. Springtime is a lot of fun to get out and fish. I've historically done pretty dang good fishing in the spring. Uh, more so like with cloudy weather than when it's really bright and sunny. That water is very cold though. You can see his fins kind of jacked up right there. Something happened to him. Sweet. The one thing I've learned over the last several years is fishing with other people that are a lot better than I am is your presentation is everything. Trying to get the fly to maintain the same speed as the river is really critical so it looks natural. That's why you'll see a lot of really good fly fishermen and guides. It's all about the mend. Big mend. Keep that fly the same speed. You'll definitely catch a lot more fish. So many choices to make on what fly to pick. Those are just a few of the boxes I'm trying to sort through. I think it's a little smaller than what I've been throwing, so that could possibly be why they're not hitting it. The fish in a lot of these rivers uh, that I go to for convenience, they get a lot of attention, a lot of pressure, so they've seen a lot of different presentations and you kind of have to outsmart them on days like today when there's appears to be multiple bugs hatching and I don't necessarily know which one they're eating. So I'm gonna keep playing around with it and see if I can hook into a couple more. The fly that I have chosen is not the one. So when you can't figure out what the heck they're eating, you gotta resort to these measures. You gotta tell me, I don't remember what this thing's called, but basically it catches up all the bugs that are floating through the river. So you can see what the heck it is. It's hard to see sometimes without doing this. Is for sure what they're chomping on. So it looks like a little blue wing olive and midge. Green body to it and then a small little midge. Okay so I use the net to catch what is floating down the river. And after some examination it appears those are little blue wing olives. So that one has like a little green body and now I'm just trying to match up the size and the color with any of the flies that I might have in this box or the other boxes. They're kind of uh, hatching right now. That one had like a sheath attached to the back of it. Sometimes they like to eat them before they're like a full bug anyway. As the fly change finally worked, finally paid off. I'll show you guys this fish real quick. There we go, there he is. Nice pretty fish on the fly. 
like Eric got quite the haul out on the shed tour. Good work, buddy. I, however, am enjoying a nice day on the river. Beautiful sunny day in Utah. Hope you're out doing something fun. All right, guys, it's gonna be a wrap for today. My battery's about dead. Appreciate you all watching. Thank you so much for your support. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. We really appreciate it. I just went out in my freezer and I found me an Easter egg. I'm sure I've told you this a time or two, but my favorite meat right now, and has been for the last few years, is just a good piece of antelope. Now last year was my first year I haven't shot an antelope in six years, so I was a little bummed out, but look what I just found floating around in the bottom of my freezer. Antelope roast. I call that a special freezer treat. And as you can see, it is about two and a half years old. Now I know a lot of people kind of get a little weird about eating meat that's been in your freezer for over a year, uh, let alone two and a half years. I would disagree with that wholeheartedly. I know people that won't eat meat until it's been in their deep freeze for at least a year. A lot of people's belief is putting meat in a freezer, well covered or vacuum sealed like this one, actually helps break down the meat. So anytime I find a piece that's over a year old, I'm pretty jacked about it. So a two and a half year old antelope roast, Sunday dinner. In my opinion though, the best way to cook a good piece of wild game, if it's two and a half year old antelope that's been sitting in your freezer or if it's fresh off the carcass, is to get rid of everything that is not red. So all the blue skin, all the ligaments, anything that doesn't look like a solid piece of muscle. I get rid of it. I do that before I do burger, before I cut steaks, before I do anything. I get rid of everything that is not just pure muscle. One of my favorite ways to do it is just rub it down with a little bit of olive oil, heat up a uh, cast iron, and then just brown it for a few minutes. Also put a little salt and pepper on there. Once you brown it, which literally takes probably, I don't know, two minutes a side, you can see there's a nice crust on it. Still, obviously, rare all the way through. I take it, I put it in a crock pot. Then what I do next is very important. You add a little bit of this zesty Italian sauce that you could buy at the store. I actually coated the bottom of it as well before I put it in, but just like that. I got it on low already, put the lid on, and it should take about three or four hours and it'll be done. Super easy, uh, but very tasty recipe and very healthy. We're gonna add some uh, vegetables to it at the end. Another thing you can do is throw potatoes and carrots in that crock pot if you've never cooked with a crock pot. I'm sure 98% of you guys have out there, but I uh, throw some vegetables in there with the roast and uh, it'll cook and you have a full meal just chilling in the crock pot for four hours. But since I'm on the Mountain Ops 90 day transformation, I have chose not to put any starches in with my protein. Can we just take a moment and appreciate this nice sunny day and check it out? The trees are starting to bloom here in Salt Lake City. Those are the Wasatch Mountains right there. Welcome back to another vlog guys. We're just doing all kinds of different things. Casey's been fishing a bunch. Brian's on a trip right now to Italy and I'm packing up today to go to Florida. So you guys can definitely be expecting some fishing trips or uh, some fishing videos next week. So I'm here at Eagle Eye. Getting all the hats back in stock. So many hats. That right there is the reason I came here pick up my mouse but unfortunately I somehow have lost the USB hookup to it and I don't know where it's at it's like my new hat just sampled this one I've been wearing this fishing one and we sell this green one in a fish leather patch and a fireball leather patch but I wanted to get some color on there and I uh, had them sample me a 50 50 so if you guys like that one let us know in the comments below but real quick don't want to spend too much time on this our sale is ending, our spring sale on camo windbreakers. This one I'm wearing. This is all ending this weekend, guys. I think Saturday night it's all gonna be pulled and all the sale prices are coming down. So if you guys want, check out the store. 
windbreakers are on sale there's a couple t-shirts that are on sale there's a few hats that are on sale and of course there's beanies on sale but uh, I don't want to bore you with merchandise stuff so just uh, click the link in the description box below if you guys want to go shop the Hushin store or maybe snag a thing or two while it's on sale now I'm headed home to uh, pack up for Florida I'll be on a plane tonight and this is pretty typical of me that I don't pack until the very last second so that's where i'm headed what's Where's up chris your, uh, little mouse i got the mouse but i don't have the usb i've got it inside you do i've got it inside the USB. no way the mouse. i almost Check looked there out. i almost looked i turned it up no way i turned it upside down i didn't down. want you to lose it yes you're the best dude so i had this mouse here they're using it on the old mac in the warehouse and yeah so i need it for my pc at home now all is well i'm glad i came here so thanks guys anytime you're the man Dale. so if you guys watched our vlog from last week or you follow us on social media on any platform you probably know we are participating in the mountain ops 90 day challenge so every thursday we are going to try to give you guys a little update on our progress how we're doing and what our plan is for the following week and if you watch that vlog, you know I've actually been trying to do better with my health for about the last month. But last Thursday is really when I began the 90 day transformation. So I wanted to show you real quick what I have done in the last seven days. Since my end goal is to feel better, and by doing that, I'm gonna lose some pounds, but hopefully I'm also gonna make some life-changing decisions along the way. So let me just show you what my daily routine has been for the last seven days. Every morning I wake up, and the first thing I do is I make myself a Mountain Ops ammo shake. And what that has been including was a scoop of ammo, uh, two cups of almond milk, and ice. And it comes out tasting like a really good milkshake. What I also do in the morning is I take two Mountain Ops Blaze pills, two Mountain Ops Renew pills, and two Mountain Ops Multi-Vs. And I do that every morning. It's the first thing I do. And then I also include usually about two... Ignite drinks or enduro drinks throughout the day. Along with that is I have been eating really healthy. I really have. I actually went and bought me a scale to tell me my ounces of, of meat that I'm eating and vegetables so I can kind of keep track of where I'm at through the day. But I can tell you I am feeling so much better. And I know that like pounds isn't the biggest thing on it when you're on a diet or a transformation but I just want to show you and I haven't got on the scale in the last seven days because I wanted to keep it a surprise with me and you but if you guys know uh, my goal is to hopefully lose 40 pounds in the next 90 days but last week I weighed in and I weighed 237.5 pounds now I'm gonna jump on the scale real quick with you guys and let's just see what's happened You see that? That's kind of exciting. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty excited about that. That's shockingly surprising. Uh, I'm down on nine, almost exactly nine pounds. And I know a lot of you guys are gonna say that's a lot of water weight, which probably is, but I feel like I'm on the right track. I'm eating healthy, I'm eating plenty of food, but also I'm getting all the vitamins I need, um, all the minerals I need, and Man, that gets me excited to do even more next week. So my plan for the next seven days is to continue on with the, the diet regimen that I've been doing, but also I'm gonna start doing some cardio. And my goal for this next seven days is to do at least three days of 35 minutes of cardio every morning before I do my Mountain Ops Ammo Shake. Some people like to refer that to as a fasted cardio, and uh, I'm not gonna change that, that saying. I'll, I'll, I'll use fasted cardio. So for me, the next seven days is going to be continuing on with my diet and start a cardio program of at least three days of 35 minutes of fasted cardio. But I hope you guys have chosen to make some changes in your life. If it's that you want to add some lean muscle, if it's that you wanna add some strength, or if it's that you wanna have better endurance, I hope you guys are doing this with us and that you come along. You still have like 78 days till the end of this. So go to mountainops.com, sign up for the 90 day transformation and do this with us. And I feel like if you 
commit to it now in 90 days the end of june you will not regret it flight is running out here in utah and our flight is gonna leave in a few hours but i just laid out pretty much everything that i'm gonna take to florida so i figured i'd just show you guys exactly what i'm taking because so many people ask like what's in your backpack what do you take shed hunting what do you take fishing so here's what i'm taking to florida for a five day fishing these shirts on this row are all long sleeve polyester fishing style shirts and I have a few of them because every day we fish I get fish blood on the shirt I get bait and they stink so it's kind of nice to have a fresh one each day a few tank tops because it's going to be like 85 degrees and I am planning on working out there so I've got gym shorts casual shorts this fancy shirt is new Bridget bought it for me for my birthday that's for the wedding it's a beach wedding some board shorts some t-shirts, and then here's the equipment I'm gonna take to film the videos and share the videos with you guys while I'm out there. So I've got the GoPro Hero 5. I've got this little attachment. It's great to attach onto a boat, the charger for the GoPro, a stick that I can use underwater if needed. This little guy is used for the vlog camera. Again, you can just kind of use that to kind of bend it around a tree limb or a boat, inside of a boat. The chesty. I really love using the chesty for the GoPro. It makes really cool uh, fishing video and it's a great point of view. Show you guys exactly what happens. Um, some Ignite, my Yeti pre-workout, shaker bottle, this is the Lacey. It's an external hard drive for the Mac. So I usually film with everything and I download it to the Lacey and then I edit it on the laptop and share it for you guys. So this little guy has a port for an SD card, mini SD card, a bunch of USBs. Sometimes I need that for the GoPro footage. Some multivitamins, a little bag that I use for like extra batteries and SD cards. Taking the Yeti with me so I can have ice cold drinks while I'm out on the boat in the sunshine. Here's the footwear I'm taking. I get made fun of so much on social media for these strappy sandals, but they're nice because I can wade, wet wade on the beach and fish with those. And then obviously some flip flops. Taking two carry-ons, there'll be no check luggage. My Hush backpack and my Hush carry-on luggage just for everything I'm taking right here. So there you have it guys, there's everything I'm taking to Florida on my trip with me. I'll continue to eat clean and work out. There's a, I think a YMCA out there where they've got a, a gym and I'm gonna get like a week long pass. So I'm gonna try the, my best to continue doing my daily cardio and my daily workouts. And then also eat clean as possible. My plan is to get out there, get myself some groceries at the store like eggs and oatmeal for the breakfast and then do some food prep while I'm out there and uh, just try, eat, try to eat as clean as possible. And one of the things I really wanna do, which is so cool out there, is if you catch a fish, you can actually take the fish into some restaurants right on the water and they'll cook you your own fish. And we did that last year with the kingfish we caught and I think we did half of it blackened and half of it fried, breaded and fried, but both of them were so good. So if I can catch some fish, like a snapper or a kingfish or a mahi, I would definitely take it to a restaurant to cook it up. I'm a little over a week into the Mountain Ops 90 day challenge. I'm feeling great. I've already lost, the highest I got was like 194 pounds and today I weighed 183. So that's not all from the last week. I actually kind of started losing weight as soon as uh, the shed tour started and I was really hiking a lot and burning a ton of calories a day. So yeah, I'm down about 10 pounds from Shed Tour. I am taking this very serious, guys. In 90 days, I hope to have it a, I, X that out, no hope. I will have a crazy transformation. And I know that because I've done it before, I've already decided to this, that I'm gonna do it. I've already committed to my plan. The workout plan that I'm gonna be doing is right there on mountainops.com's website. A five day workout split with 20 minutes of cardio per day. So I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make sure I do it and it will result in seeing a body transformations and just feeling better in general. We've gotten a lot of DMs from people who are already starting, already feeling better. So it's so much fun. Fitness is a huge part of my life and I love motivating others and inspiring others to do the same. If you want more information on the 90 day challenge, go back and check our vlog from last week. But we're all on board. We're all doing this together with you guys and we hope that you follow through. So yeah, let's kill it. 
I'm off to Florida tonight, so the next time you guys will see me is probably fishing. So I'll catch you later, guys. See ya.